So last year, Twitch dropped their in-house alert system. From your dashboard, you can find the browser source links and use them as regular alerts. Now, if you're like me and for the past seven to 10 years, you've been using third-party services or software to create your own alerts, then you're good. When it comes to alerts, you're good, but there's something called celebrations that is pretty unique to this service. And those are quote unquote customizable explosions, confettis, fireworks that can appear over the whole Twitch page. And honestly, I think that's pretty cool. So I'd like to show you how to use that without using the Twitch alert system. So we're here on my alt account. As you can see, I haven't streamed there in a while. And in your creator dashboard, if you go to the left here, you'll see alerts and it says new. And honestly, you can take your time to actually read all of that and to do all the cool stuff. Celebrations are right there. That's what we're interested in. We're going to create an alert box and that's the default one. And we're immediately going to go to celebration down there. So there's fireworks, there's flamethrower, there's rain. Personally, I like uh, rain. And for the intensity, you have three options, light, moderate, extreme. I like moderate. And at the bottom here, you'll see video only. So the celebration, the confetti is going to appear only on the video. You can make it appear only on top of chat or you can make it appear on the whole screen. I like the whole screen stuff, but of course, you pick what you what you like. Now, from there, top right, I can click save changes. Now, if you want to preview what it's going to look like, they can actually give you a preview of the celebration right here. And this is what the moderate looks like. If I put light, this is what it looks like. And if I put extreme, then they're huge and they fall fast. Now, personally, in order to get it triggered, what I do is I copy the browser source URL here at the bottom, copy. And then in OBS Studio, I can add it as a browser source. So browser, paste the link, put it somewhere. So this is gonna be the regular alerts. And technically, I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want the regular alerts. I just want to have it in there in case it's needed to trigger it. So I just put it on the bottom of my display capture or my game capture. So it's in, it's going to be invisible. So uh, let's fire up a stream, shall we? Technically on this profile, I'm supposed to be connected to the right account. Let's hope that's not my main account. Okay, I should be live. Hopefully, let's check quickly. Hopefully, okay, cool, cool, cool. We're on the right account. Nice, 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 nice. All right, so we're live right now. I'm going to refresh just to make sure. And uh, maybe we can get a preview of what it looks like when we trigger this thing. All right, we're going to send test alert. And here it is. <laughs> and this is what it's going to look like. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that there's audio. I don't know if you can turn it off from the dashboard under visuals and sounds. You can click that off, but the problem is I'm guessing you'll probably have to do the same for each default alert. So instead within OBS, you want to make sure that you mute that source. I double click on it. I click control audio via OBS and it should appear right there, browser, and I mute it. So it won't be seen, it won't be heard, but the celebration will happen on stream, which is so cool. So let's test that again. I'm just going to bring that here and let's put it to light this time, save changes. And I'm going to send alert. Fireworks, I'm going to set it to light. Let's set it to extreme. Flamethrower on light. And extreme for flamethrower. <laughs> See gamer, what's up? <laughs> I'm recording a video. I'm testing some stuff. <laughs> now keep in mind that we only activated it for the follows. So on the left here, we're under follows. So we have this alert box, new follow celebrations is on. If I want to put it, for example, for prime subscriptions, I would have to click here on prime subscription and go to celebrations and also turn it on. And then you can, you know, have different variants and stuff, depending on what happens and what type of alerts you get. I think it's pretty cool on my main account. I'm probably going to activate it for everything. But if by any chance you don't have an alert set up yet, well, Twitch provides that now. If you're OK with it looking like this, it's super easy to set up. But this video is only about celebrations. So there you go. You can thank me by following me on Twitch and I'll see you all next time. Thank you for watching. Go out there, make me proud, get level out.